Okay, I'm ready. I love this guy. He's a very cool. Have you ever seen an invisible sword? Wow! Well, Wait, how did you do that? A few days ago, I saw this picture right here. Oh, that pantomime. It's an invisible sword. And now I oh. want one. Just like that. A sword that's not only invisible, but also indestructible and sharp. What? A sword that's basically like a normal one, but that you can't see. Wow. Not sure how yet. I'm gonna have to figure it out. And then I'm gonna Make test it out sharpness of spaghetti against increasingly harder targets. The first step was choosing the right material. And the first one that popped into my head, <laughs> well, it was glass. glass. <laughs> you had to film that, by the way, chat. <laughs> it's transparent when it's clear than that. You had to film and you that. Can make it pretty sharp by using a diamond stone like I did here. Wow. But you know, there are some kinds of glass that can <gasps> Wow, we've come full circle. A react within a react. Resistant than usual, and even indestructible, oh. according to the companies that sell them. The problem with glass is that glass is glass. It shatters. And glass breaks. Yeah. And it's way too easy to make a katana out of it. But there is another material that not only is transparent, but it's ten times more impact resistant than steel by weight. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about polycarbonate. It is generally Carbonari. used for riot shields armored vehicles, safety oh, yeah. glasses, and other indestructible items. And because of all that, it sounds like the perfect material for the job. But I can't wow. see, see for myself how hard it actually is. To I can imagine you can sharpen it really, really well if you tried to. To find that out, I'm cutting out a small sample from the panel I'm planning to use for the katana. And the idea is to hit the polycarbonate as hard as I can wow. with this unnecessarily big sledgehammer. Three, two... Got it from his cousin Mario. Oh, did it break though? And I didn't well, see. I'm not exactly sure what just happened. I only yeah, know I that even though both sawhorses broke because of the impact, the polycarbonate <laughs> panel is completely fine. This thing has wow. one scratch, but you can't even feel it. It's not even bended or anything. It's like insane. And since polycarbonate wow. is clearly resilient, meaning it can bend like a lot Ooh. without breaking. It's definitely my best option. So to make the okay. katana, I got a big panel of polycarbonate. 2 meters by 0 0.5 and 12 millimeters or 0 0.47 inches thick. Which is also wow. the maximum thickness I could find for this material. $300? Sorry, euros. Desconto cormisias, desconto financiero, mercadoria, servicios. Wow. And this is gonna be the invisible Very and indestructible cool. body of the sword. Now, to cut the right shape out of the panel. Okay, the scene from Sherlock Holmes where Watson almost walks eyes first into Professor Moriarty's invisible glass stabbing cane. Oh no. I'm gonna use tape. What do you mean? That's Portuguese, Lana, not Italian. That's not Portuguese, you fucking ding dong. Holy shit, you corrected me, but you're still wrong. Jesus Christ, get a grip! <laughs> is that tape should make it easier to draw the consistent curve of the katana on the panel. And then I can use Pretty that sure that was Spanish, by the, the way. Shortcut. And after outlining the tape, the edge, and completing the handle, <laughs> I can start to see the final shape of the sword. There is just <laughs> one thing to point out. I involuntarily made this thing big. Like, wow. way too big. It's basically twice as large as a normal katana. And I'm not sure Why? if I should be excited, because the katana is massive and it's gonna be powerful, or worried because the katana is massive and I might not be able to even lift it. But after or or it could shatter because it's too big. I don't know. Could go either way. Making a few scientific tests, I realized that because polycarbonate is so much lighter than steel, it shouldn't be a problem to swing the sword even if it's that big. And so okay. I'm not worried anymore. I'm just really excited instead. Then I use the jigsaw uh. to cut out a smaller perimeter around the sword so that it's gonna be easier to work with it in the next step. And after mm -hmm, doing that, mm -hmm. it became even more noticeable how big this thing is going to be. <laughs> now, the next Look step face. is to grab the actual shape of the sword out of the panel. And to do that, I'm going to use a band saw. Then, after cutting the wow, shape, I can mia. remove the protective film. And I'm going to be able to see if the sword actually looks invisible. The problem is that band saws don't look too friendly. And most importantly, I don't exactly know how to use one. I had to use one for my hard materials project. 
Ew, man, it was scary. I did not like doing that. So I They're got hard to handle. Uh, <laughs> I already cut one part. I forgot to film. I cut it really bad. Oh, yeah. That, that <laughs> does, does not look that good. I need to follow the interior line. This part inside here. So my terrible cut wasn't actually a big deal. For now. Then I cut the extra material out of the other side of the katana. And like that, I was getting closer. Now you could file it down, but it wouldn't... Nah, never mind. Don't file it down. I feel like filing it down would kind of ruin it. How comes the hardest part? I need to follow these lines here. And the uh... Now this is definitely scarier. And I don't mind my fingers being close to a deadly saw. But making a mistake I here do. means removing material out of the final katana. And potentially having to start from zero. Oh. Though, I was getting the hang of it. And He's doing a good job. Did you see that? After removing the extra material from the handle, I'm Ew. fixing the final details on the belt grinder. As you can clearly see. Oh, there you go. He's grinding it down. Anyways, like that, the first step to make the sword is complete. I'm also happy to see the weight of the katana. It's not a problem at all. It's not too light, not too heavy, and the katana is not bending on itself. Nice. I'm definitely on the right track. And now, a few seconds of silence while I remove the plastic wrap. Oh! It reminds me of when you remove the little tape around um, the from the TV or a piece of electronic. Nice. Ah! Very nice. Now, the sword <laughs> looks pretty he was already. He did! Goon a little Inside bit! The, shop, the effect is actually oh. weaker because of the lights. Like in real life, like like this, it's completely transparent for me. Wait. Yeah, but I can't see Wait, that. This. Oh, yeah, you know what? was already more like it. <laughs> wow. Like it. But outside, it gets even better. Wow. Bear in mind, you can still see the edges because there is no yeah. blade. And the spine is not polished. So it might be that the katana also looks darker because the edges block the light. But when the edges oh, yeah. are perfectly perpendicular to the camera, this thing looks fake. The effect is even it stronger kinda does. when there's light behind it. <gasps> wow! Yeah, he can file it down and it'll look almost perfect. And I'm very excited to see what this katana is going to look like when it's done. Wow. I'm gonna get this thing sharp. You then should. I'm gonna make the handle and then I'm gonna test it against handle. a lot of stuff. <laughs> the first step to get the sword sharp is to create a bevel on the blade. So after marking the center of the blade using a caliper, I'm retracing the line with a pencil. This line is gonna be my reference for the edge Ooh. while grinding. Also, to make sure I'm gonna grind the blade symmetrically on both sides, basically like this, I made this tool. This mechanism allows me to set a certain angle, so that when I grind the sword with the belt grinder, the angle should stay consistent, as well as the bevel on both sides. That's gonna be tough. How are you gonna hold it still while it's doing the belt thing? That's gonna be hard. And this is all theory, by the way. I've never grinded almost anything in my life, and this could honestly mess up the entire sword. But of course, there is only one way to find out. Wow. And well, even though I felt like I was doing everything wrong at the beginning, after basically one hour of grinding, the first side of the bevel was completed. And besides wow. making an absolute mess everywhere, including... Oh, that's dangerous. Don't take it off before you clean it! If you inhale that, it probably fucks you up. Face, I think it came out bad, but much better than expected. And so, after repeating the process on the other side of the blade, the rush shape of the sword... It's done. That looks like the cocaine. Not sharp yet, but it has an edge now, and so the next step is gonna be making it invisible. To do that, I'm gonna smooth out the angle between the spine and the bevel, mainly to prevent wow. reflections like the ones you see here. And while doing so, I'm gonna also remove the scratches I got from the belt grinder and hopefully turn the katana even more transparent than how wow. it was before. So I got a sander with eight different pads, from a coarse grit to basically a polishing one. And by sending the katana with each one of the pads, in theory, that's a I'm satisfying be able to make it sound. And well, after Bang. a little more than two hours, I was basically done. <laughs> He's tired! Anyways, I made sure to remove every single scratch from the belt grinder. And even after just the coarser pad, the katana already looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna repeat it the looks process. awesome. Seven times. 
And so I did, each time with a finer grit, and each time making sure to remove all the scratches that were there before. And after At least she's not doing it by hand. I don't have one of these things. I had to grind down one of my wooden pieces for my bed. About one that was hour annoying, man. I was using the final pad. After that, I'm sending everything with a 2500 grit sandpaper by hand. And with this, Ooh. I'm finally starting to see the first good results. Now it's looking good. When it's wet, it looks great. When it's not, it doesn't look great. <laughs> oh no. Oh, right now, no. there are still a lot of micro scratches on the surface of the blade, and that's why the katana doesn't really look transparent yet. Right. So now I'm gonna try to remove them using this <laughs> headlight polisher. And after applying it on the sword with a sponged pad, the katana was polished and transparent. You There's should lick it. Just one problem that I'm realizing literally right now the handle. I forgot about physics. Oh. Yeah. Wanna know what happens when a block of transparent material has variable thickness, like in my case, what? distortion. That's what happens. Oh! So even though the katana looks good and it's transparent, when you look oh, when it's it, moving. it's gonna always distort the objects behind it. Basically like you see here. And even though I actually like this katana and I spent three days working on it. No, we have to start again! Oh. I already wrote the title of this video <coughs> and I don't wanna clickbait you. So the sword has to be more invisible than that. Oh, now, the problem oh, is that I would piss. Massive piss. Take this to ward off the ISP demons. Yo, Smoko, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. We will. You always need a bevel to make the sword sharp. And a bevel creates distortion. Bevel this. Now, what, if, what if I try to keep the thickness consistent as long as I can and then make a really short bevel? Okay. By doing that, in theory, the entire sword will be invisible and only a small part of it would create distortions. So to confirm the theory, I tried making a small sample with this new concept and it turned okay. out honestly great. Let's make <gasps> so it's not really a katana, it's more like a screwed up, like one handed sword, I guess. So I drew a new sword, cut it out of the panel with a bandsaw, flattened the edges, and like that, I had the new raw shape of the katana. Then I made a new, shorter bevel on the belt grinder. And even though this took a while, like a long, long while, the new yeah. edge came out so much better than the old one. So after polishing it and polishing the spine of the blade and turning oh. my hand into a tomato, Ow. after one day of work, the final blade is ready. You can obviously <laughs> still see the bevel and the bevel still distorts what's behind it. But besides that, now the entire blade is completely transparent. For comparison, this is how version one of the katana looked. And this is how it looks- That like looks way better. Yeah, even though you can see the outline from where he polished it. Yeah. Now, I really like it. Yeah, it looks this. like a cleaver. And the more I look at this thing, the more I can't wait to test it. The katana it's so is also cool. pretty sharp now. And I know that because I randomly hit the dummy's head with the blade. And this happened. Wow. So yeah, it cuts. Ow. At this point, to complete the katana, I gotta make the handle and the guard. Katana guards are pieces of art. They're often handmade and they just look awesome. Wow. But I'm a minimalist, so mine is just transparent. I actually <laughs> tried to do something okay. fancier, but I ended up right away with a chubby Pac-Man. one waka. day to make this hole, but at least it fits nicely on the katana. Why did it take one day to make a hole? Left. So my initial plan was to use the acrylic block and then carve a handle out of it. But besides that taking a lot of time, I fear it would probably not come out as transparent as I wanted. Because following the plan, I need to make a hole into the block and then fit the handle into it. And the okay. problem with holes is that they are really hard to polish. Moreover, I only need to add just a few extra centimeters on the thickness of the handle. So why can't I just glue extra polycarbonate to it and then shape everything as a handle? Well, I tried on a smaller Ooh. sample first using super glue. That's smart. It honestly worked perfectly. It's actually really strong. I hit it here and it didn't move. So I cut okay. two pieces of polycarbonate with the same dimensions of the handle. And after placing an entire super glue bottle on each side of the handle, <laughs> I glued the two pieces to it. Now I need to smooth the edges and also reduce the thickness of the block in order to get the shape of the final handle. And I'm saying this just because there is no way for you to tell, 
but I got a big smile under the mask. <laughs> uh, mainly because after grinding for 30 minutes. Oh. That looks sick. I was really happy about it. looks like a mithril blade, but like from a, like a fantasy novel where it's like, oh, everything's made out of mithril. But how the handle was turning out. That's why it's not dangerous. Besides Ew. that, the tape I put on the guard to protect it didn't protect the guard at all. And it glued it into a it. sort of pattern that somehow reminds me of anime stuff. So I think I'm going to yeah! keep it this way. Since the handle already feels pretty Block good. Block of ice. Head, I simply finished it by polishing it, as I previously did with the body of the sword. And even though it, it looks like something, it was completely random. The glue created a unique effect on the handle. It looks like a snow sword. Chad. It looks like ice. ice. Yeah. At least with this, the katana is finally complete. Dude, he looks like such a badass with the shadow. Ooh. And honestly, I don't think it looks cool. Look. I think it just looks like I'm about to start my own anime revenge arc when I'm holding yeah. this thing. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Of course, you can still see the edge, but everything else is basically transparent, especially when there is ground or objects behind it. And now, I wanna test it though. I wanna find out if this actually works like a sword. I wanna see how well it can cut and how powerful it is. To find that oh. out, I get a bunch of targets, from soft to hard, pineapple, Watermelon Soft. and pumpkin, a wooden plank, a ballistic dummy, and then a brick. A brick. The plan okay. is to try to cut all this and see what happens to the sword. Pineapple is first. I think it'll break on the wood. First, hardness, one out of ten. A normal sword will easily cut this, but I'm not even sure if my katana can actually cut. Let's find out. And well, it didn't took me much to realize. Three, two, two. one. That it really does cut. Okay, but cut the actual flesh. Come I... on, do it. Well, it cuts though. <laughs> and well, I'm Come really on. happy about that. What I'm I didn't know is that my happiness wasn't gonna last long though. Because on the next attempt, the second worst thing that could possibly happen happened. It. This, this thing falls off. <gasps> no! I knew it! No, I wasn't expecting it. I called this it, man. At all. Like, at all. No. All that hard work for nothing. The sword snapped right oh. after the handle. Then I stood literally five minutes like this. <laughs> trying to figure out. What do what, I do? Why, how was this possible? Polycarbonate is basically unbreakable. Then why did this happen? The blade is uh, probably I don't even know. Probably because there's like a little like thinness change and because he sanded it down and then put this there, it had the perfect like snapping capacity because of the little disc around it. If I had the wager, I don't know, I'm not a physicist. Self is absolutely fine though. It doesn't even have a scratch. Yeah. It flexed on the, like, the, the bend there, Thank probably. You. The reason why polycarbonate is so resistant is because it can bend a lot and absorb the impacts. And oh, and it can't bend when there's a disc there. Theory okay. Is that by yeah. gluing extra material on the handle, I just made it way more rigid than the blade. Yep. Yeah, that's why. Effectively removing its ability to bend. Yeah. So who says I need a handle? If my theory is right, the sword without the handle would be basically impossible to break. Yes. I'm gonna use it this way, and if it works, and if it's strong, then I'm gonna remove the sharpness here. But if it works, I mean, it's perfect. So, I bet you could kill someone next? with that. Hardness, three out of 10. I'm temporarily what using melon? a the handle to not cut myself. And even though I'm a little worried, there's only one way to find out what this sword will be fine. Do. One. Bam! I, did he knock it Luckily, off or did it, it went cut? Luckily, the watermelon without problems. It doesn't cut clean, probably because of the thickness of the blade. And the fact okay. that the blade bends a lot. But so far, it cuts. By the way, I'm gonna eat this one. Next, pumpkin. <laughs> Hardness pumpkin. 5 out of 10. Pumpkin. And this is not a normal pumpkin. Besides the shape. <laughs> why, did he, why did he stroke it so sensually? Well, and this is not a normal pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> he kind of he kind of touched it right there. It's like ooh. Besides it's a guy thing. thing. You think so? But even my supersonic chain whip. Hello, to pumpkin. Slice it's like it's way harder than it looks. And yet the katana actually. Cockin. Oh <gasps> wow! Wow, that was a dude. Look at his focused face. It's a very focused face Slice right there. This one. And also pretty easily. Damn! The cut is also fairly clean this time. And that was once pretty again, good. The blade is completely fine. Now nice. I'm getting to the hard targets though. The next oh, one the wood. It's a wooden plank. And it's pretty thick too. So I think there are three possible Big ways piss. this can go down. Massive the piss. Hi. Yo, what up, Drago? Thank you the four months! Circumcised squash. Man, you guys are so funny! Kana could snap and break in half. It could bend pretty badly and stay banded. Or, but it's unlikely. He should wear glasses in case it snaps and ricochets back into his face. This guy should wear a helmet and glasses! We break the wood. To find out, I set up the wooden plank and I fix the bottom and the top so that okay. it doesn't move when I hit it. Okay. The problem is that I still haven't Okay, he's wearing glasses. All right, all right. Actually is. All right, he's, he's been... Point, I really have no idea what's gonna happen. All right, let's just do it. Three, two, one. And well, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't either, to be honest. It doesn't even have <laughs> nothing. I Did he edit that fly in? Completely destroyed that and then did that one. And I thought it would have snapped. The edge of the blade is absolutely perfect. So I think wow. I definitely underestimated this thing. Let me let me try again. There's a little airplane up there. That piece. I thought it was maybe just a fluke. So I hit the blank again. And the same thing happened. This is the mark he left. Wow! The wood is broken, and the blade is not even dented. And you could, you could uh, shatter some bones. At this point, I only got the two hardest targets left. So I Brita. quickly went back to the shop, and it's moving the edges of the handle. And now, I got something like this. And I wasn't expecting it, but this handle works just as well as the old one. And so, I can move on with the next test. This is a ballistic dummy. It has a layer of ballistic gelatin, which should simulate muscle tissue, and it also simulates bones. I'm gonna hit it twice. Once Poor guy. here on the neck, where there is a lot of gelatin, and then once. Get on that the Titan! Spot. I think it's gonna break. Hit one, neck. Nah, it's gonna frick him up. Aww. He's not I'm sharp the enough. Right away to see if it's chipped or it cracked. But it's perfect. Mm. Alright. Also, the dummy looks fine though. It didn't seem like the blade went through <laughs> at first. It's oh, just yeah, fun. I cut it. Oh, no way. And then I saw it. I don't know no if you way. can see, but I cut it right here. And it turns out the katana not only sliced the gelatin and went Ow. Oh my god. But it actually shattered the bones below it. That okay. is a piece of bone. It's insane because yeah, it's after a club. Handle, it was be an absolute fail. And instead, Imagine getting hit over the head by this thing. The edge of the katana was as sharp as when I started testing it. This thing is insane. I love it. This thing is Anyways, crazy. Now I'm gonna go for the head. Three. Get him. Two. Get him. One. Nah, it's like a club. Ooh, he sliced now, the a ear. Red thing is coming out of the head of the ballistic dummy, and I wasn't expecting it. So I'm switching to zombie mode for the next shots to make YouTube happy. And here, you can kind of see the damage. The skull got cracked from here to here, and there is a deep cut where the katana hit. And the katana yeah. itself, even after hitting the bone, doesn't even have a scratch on it. This thing is crazy. The last target, though, is a brick. Hardness, 10 out of 10. This is Brita. clearly a dumb test. I shouldn't do this. But so far, the katana destroyed Why not? without getting damaged. So where is the limit? I want to find that. I already know the edge is probably going to get damaged, but I can always fix that by resharpening it. But I want to see if it's going to crack or break. And I hope not. Quick 
choose in a smaller brick, to be fair. <laughs> well, I got the thickest one I could find instead. Anyways, after a bit of mental preparation, Smash I loaded it. my swing and I hit the brick as hard as I could. Oh. 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 Yeah, there ain't no way. This is a win. Little chips. And damage on the brick. It now, handled I it pretty well. I'm to try to hit a smaller brick and see what happens to the katana and the brick. And this time. The oh! Katana actually oh. broke the brick. And I was definitely happy about Wait, it. Wait, that's a new brick, isn't it? But the best part for me is not even the broken brick, it's the fact that after all that. Broken balls. This. It's the only damage on the blade. Then I went back to the workshop, and after fixing it and polishing it, the blade itself has a few scratches, but the edge is basically brand new. Next, I'm gonna build an insanely powerful slingshot. Subscribe to see when it will come out. And also, wow! let me know in the comments what you wanna see me build after that one. If you like my videos, you can oh. also get behind the scenes and early access to the videos on Patreon. Wow, 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 as well wow, as your wow. name at the end of the video, like you see here. Check it out. Chad, I love this guy! Very cool, very nice, a very nice video. I like this guy's commentary. It's very soothing. And even though he failed, he still he still uh, posted it. So I mean, he slept me with this ty. Yes, yes, of course I can.